second layer is fear of losing some part of your body through accident or some fatal disease this is the second layer fear third layer fear of losing the near and dear ones or love from them losing themselves or love from them this is the third layer of fear fourth layer fear of unknown fear of death fear of ghost fear of evil spirits fear of hell and heaven fear of god everything comes under the fear of unknown these are the four layers of fear any other fears which is not classified alzheimer's actually there is a deep research about the alzheimer's and they say the root of the disease i analyzed the root of the disease finally i am able to come to two three conclusions the first uh, thing is if you can meditate from the young age alzheimer's can never happen alzheimer's is nothing but the it happens because of the too much of memory when you are not able to handle so much of memory your consciousness shrinks from your uh, neurological system consciously how it happened how it happens i did a uh, my own method of the scanning how these things happens and i analyzed these two three things i am able to come to i am able to understand if you suddenly lose respect the moment you come down from the post is as if you are so that's something and even in the life when you feel you are retired you are not needed anymore you start feeling that you start having the problem any other fears Fear of not becoming enlightened. Uh, fear of not becoming enlightened is belongs to all the four layers. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, yes. Fear of hell. Fear of hell. That's the same thing. Fear of uh, unknown <laughs> loss. Yes, yes. No, psychologically, see the fear, hell and heaven are not geographical. They are only psychological. The state of state in which you live, if your mental state. is continuously in turmoil you are troubled you are disturbed naturally you are living in hell there is no hell or heaven as it is told in so many books physically they don't exist i can be sure about that from my enlightenment from my authority don't worry <laughs> what about the bardos that the tibetans talk about mm-hmm. uh, upon death there are certain bardos Oh, bardos! No, 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 no! Actually, you don't even go through any state. Ah. It's just uh, when you live here, how you live that soul. Immediately you take birth, that soul. No hell and heaven. Don't worry. <laughs> I can be sure of that. And that uh, when you live itself, you undergo everything. <laughs> See, when you live. If you live with the wrong person, with the wrong atmosphere, that itself is a hell. <laughs> Continuously being tortured. If you live with a happy life, with happy persons, it's a heaven. Hell and heaven are psychological, not geographical. So I guess if you're living in hell when you're alive, when you die, you'd still be in hell. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's true. The way in which you live, the the same way only you die. So except this four layer, is there any other fear? Hmm. <laughs> fear of death. Oh. <laughs> That's what the uh, fear of. Uh, no. Um, second layer, fear of disease. I think it's torture. <laughs> That's what the second layer is. The fear of pain and fear of being tortured is all second layer. 
fear of abuse you being uh, that we may be abused even those things are second layer fear going back to hell if you die the way you live that how are you born again in the same state or with same consciousness you are born see for example if you lived your whole life just for eating 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 naturally you take pig birth of me next time because that is the best body to eat nice is such a big mouth and you can eat 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 do nothing except eating if you live your whole life sleeping next body will be naturally buffalo you can continue sleep 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 no problem at all it is based on the way in which you live you take the next body can you change it can you change it no only if you change your mental setup you can change last moment you can't do anything if you want to change you have to change now itself Mm. It's based on the program which you do. You take birth. You take the next body. Mm. How about the enlightened masters? Then? Masters don't take birth. They don't take if they want, they come down with in their own way, the way in which they want. So where do they stay in between these two births? Ah, uh, they they just stay in the existence. In, existence. Mm. in what form? There is no form. There is no form. They stay in form as a formless energy. when enlightened masters come down they come down with consciousness and from the very young age itself they start achieving what they want to achieve yes, <coughs> they start working what they want and they finish it in a very young age and things happen in a very young age they don't waste time sometimes i feel surprised you guys what are you doing here 30 40 years <laughs> sometimes when i see people i feel surprised 40 years 50 years still not becoming enlightened what is that no. i ask people no not that it is wrong but don't you feel bored living the same oh, yeah. routine <laughs> and actually people ask me some say how could you do so much in such a short time i tell them how you are still uh, you it's not that you you should feel uh, surprised to uh, surprised looking at me i should feel surprised looking at you I feel surprised. Are you not feeling bored, living the same routine for day in and day out? No. Actually, I ask the people. Hmm? No, no. No, then okay, you continue. What can be done? Why are there so few enlightened beings? Because only if you want that. Somebody asked Buddha. You know, enlightenment is the greatest thing, and you can give. Why don't you give it to everyone? Buddha says, "Who wants go and do a survey and come back?" The guy came back. He said, "Only two person wants Buddha. Please bring them." No, no, they are not ready to move from their house. No, no, they want to take them. If it is home delivery, they want. Otherwise, they don't want. They are not ready to come back. Come here. If it is home delivery, they are ready to accept. That is what. How many wants? If somebody willfully comes to you, most likely. You think people want? There are such people, sir. One guy asked me, "Have you seen God, Swami Ji?" I said, "Yes." Not only I have seen, I will show you. Come, he simply escaped. <laughs> people are only casual seekers. Nobody is serious seeker. They are only casual seekers. If you are really sincere, you can have dreams. Not only glimpses, you can have the experience. It's not a big deal. When I can have, why not you? It's only just the seeking. How deeply, how sincerely you seek, nothing else. How much you can gamble? The meditation is the ultimate gambling. How much you can put at stake and risk? That plays a role. So it's a rich environment. You just have to meditate and meditate and meditate. And <laughs> you see, this word itself shows that you are not understood meditation. This word shows meditate, 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 meditate means it's like a boring act. <laughs> you you need to do continuously, not like that. Meditation, 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 meditation. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> But I, I have not done it as a work. I have not done it as a job. It is just an enjoyment, an exploring of your own being. But is that necessary? Is 
necessary to yes. explore to that degree mm -hmm. in order to reach yes. life. Sure. A courage to explore your being is a basic need for enlightenment. It couldn't just be that you grow in love to such a degree. Yes. The growing love is also exploring yourself. You are exploring the dimension of your heart. But do you have to do that through meditation? Or no. Meditation can be different forms. You see, meditation has thousands of forms. Well, Even if you explore your love, you will start meditating. If you explore meditation, you will start loving. As long as you think two, these two are two different things, you are not doing even one. <laughs> Please be very clear about that. Yes. Is there a uh, fear of ego death or ego? Yes. Ego and That's what the fear of losing the social status and all those things. Okay. Now let us work on the fear. These are the four layers of fear. And one more thing. It is not that all human beings are caught in all four layers. No. You are caught only in some one layer. You are caught only in some one layer. Other four layers, there will be little bit, little bit fear. But 75% of your energy is blacked in only one layer. In other layers, only 25% is blacked. So if you work on the one layer, which gives you too much of fear, Half of your problems, a seventy percent of your problems will be solved. You will come out of the fears. The four layer, fear of losing comfort, wealth, social status, fear of losing some part of your body through disease and the accident, fear of losing your near and dear ones or love from them, Fear of losing your body, death, fear of unknown, fear of death, fear of God, fear of mm, spirits, fear of ghosts. Actually, dead people never disturb us, only we disturb the people. <laughs> <laughs> only living people disturb us, never dead people disturb us. Anyhow, all these four layers of fear are the major fears. If you can go through and come out, even fear cannot frighten you. Even fear cannot frighten you. If you have the fear of losing the wealth, feel you have lost it. What can be done now? Can anything be done? Nothing else can be done. You have lost. Nothing can be done. Witness the suffering and the pain the inner and outer changes which happens inside you. Just witness. If you have the fear of accidents, now it has happened, what can be done? Nothing can be done. Just witness. Just witness. If you have the fear of losing the near and dear ones, feel your lost. What can be done? Nothing can be done. Witness. Step by step, I will guide you. Visualize as much as possible, as deeply as possible and witness those fears. You will go into them, naturally you will come out of them. In the only way for out. In the only way for out. You will go into the fears to come out of them.